Whether or not you guys noticed the changes that I've been making over the course of the last couple days, I thought it'd be good to sit down and give you guys basically a reasoning why, what my thought process is, what led me to it. But before we even jump into that, uh, there's also been a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. And I want to give a light update on Chris and the Work the Game Twitch stream. Chris is going to post a video over on Work the Game that's dedicated from his perspective of what's going on. But I wanted to give you guys an update on that first. Then we're going to talk about also the changes here that are happening right now. And first and foremost, uh, like Chris, he's got family that lives uh, in Romania and they have been ordered to get the heck out of Romania and they need help. So they had like two weeks to get out. So Chris is going to actually be traveling there this week. I think today's his last stream over on the work to game Twitch. And then he's going to head out over there to help get, get them packed up as much as they can fit and get out of Romania. So that's essentially that is going on there. He might be back to streaming sometime in April but also some family health issues are going to be are going on as well and he's going to have to take off some time and go focus in on that and i think it's uh, his mother-in-law's having brain surgery and as somebody who has been through a loved one having brain surgery if you guys didn't know uh, my wife uh, and i went through that uh together and uh and that's actually one of the reasons why we can have uh kids today so that's actually a really good thing she had a pituitary tumor and there's no like, you know, they've got the best doctors uh, that they feel they got, like, they feel like they have obviously a really good chance, but like, there's no casual brain surgery. And I can speak that from experience, having lived through that experience. I, I, I wish that experience on nobody. And that's, I guess, well, I'll leave it at that. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, um, note that we're he, family, health, all that always comes first to us. It comes first in our content. It always comes first in our advice. And so he's going to be taking some time off. So if you guys want to go wish him well, uh, he's alive today. And I don't know when he'll be back. And honestly, there should be not be a rush on that return. Family should always come uh, first and foremost. Because again, especially like as Rock taught us recently, and thanks to all who made uh, the time to go uh, and attend his memorial, like you never guaranteed, you know, any of this. And so uh, always just, you know, be there for the people that you love, um, you know, work will wait and we'll always be able to figure things out uh, together. Now, that being said, I want to get that uh, update to you guys. I want to talk to you about what you're seeing actually with Ginger Prime and what is this channel going to look like in the future? And it's because of you guys. Let me just be clear. Like I've received some amazing comments over the last couple of weeks about some of the content that I've made and how they really enjoy that style. And it's what I've been wanting to do for the longest time. And it's this essay, analytical, deep dives using my experience as a uh, software engineer, as a game designer, as uh, somebody who like loves the industry, works adjacent to the industry, and maybe at some point will work in the industry, depending on if I'm able to uh, get uh, enough time to actually focus in on um, actually building games. And so um, what I've decided to do and what I was hesitant to do, I really wanted to do this actually at the beginning of the year, um, but I, I kind of held off because I was like, well, it's a lot of work, is I've decided that I obviously have a huge passion for a variety of games and variety content is difficult. But what I want this channel to be is I really want it to be those real fun, deep dives, trying to make the, the videos as interesting and edited as possible. And hopefully you've seen some of that in kind of what has been the coffee chat, but ultimately uh, bringing it back and kind of labeling it or theming it under the concept of state of the game. And so I'm working on some coursework regarding, uh, you know, obviously like After Effects. I'm not that great at After Effects, but to really kind of try to bring in some of the, like just the best content that I can make. And that's just what I'm passionate about. I've always wanted. Those videos are always usually supplemented with news posts, guides, and things like that, that I have a passion for as well. But I always find that I'm stepping on myself as a variety MMO RPG player. Like whether you like New World or not, whether you like Final Fantasy 14 or not, whether you like Destiny or not, whether you like, you know, insert X game or not, I just have a love for these games. I always have. And what's kind of held off is that starting a channel and maintaining that can be a, a difficult task. And usually the joke's been whenever Brian has a new kid, he makes a new channel and that necessarily isn't the case, but I created like a channel for education. And I like, when I go look at it, I just don't post to it. And I do have a passion for that, but I just don't post to it enough at all, really. Like it's been well over a year. And so I started repurposing some of these channels that I had created, but never really did anything with all under the concept of the ginger 
you know, brand, if you will. I, I don't like the term, but essentially, if we're speaking in industry term language, there we go. So what does that mean? Like, well, Final Fantasy 14 content, I know, like, that's where I love. I've covered this game for 13 years. I don't plan on stopping covering this game anytime soon. I've been putting out the controller guides, but when those things happen, sometimes they step on something else that's happening in another game that I'm obviously excited about. And so I ask myself, is, is our views more important or is it just more important to be able to put things that are grouped in a way that make it easier for you as a, as, as a part of this community to find? So whether you like New World or not, especially let's say you don't and you know, you're like, I really don't like when Brian puts that in, in my feed. Like, I don't want to put that in your feed, so I'm not. And so I've created Ginger World Gaming, and that's its own channel, and all the New World content will exist there. Now, discussion editorial style stuff still will exist here. So if you don't like the discussion editorials, thanks so much for checking out this channel at one point, but that's where I want this to go. So there's still going to be obviously that aspect. Same thing with Final Fantasy, but I've repurposed the podcast channel, which was usually, which was Ginger Gaming Radio, and that's now Ginger JRPG Gaming. And that's going to be where you'll find my Final Fantasy 14, Final Fantasy 11 coverage in terms of like the news guides. Uh, and some of that is going to really kind of focus in on that area. So that way, if you're sitting here like you like Final Fantasy, but you don't like Destiny, well, I got good news for you. You're not going to see Destiny content on Ginger JRPG and you won't see uh, Final Fantasy 14 or Destiny content on Ginger World. And speaking of Destiny, that's also now Ginger Destiny. So I've created that. I've repurposed the Prime University channel. Uh, which I was going to have like all this educational content regarding programming and uh, you know video editing and it just never came to fruition. I even filmed videos and and for me like sometimes like as much as I try to encourage people to get over some of that fear like naturally like there's just like a discomfort that I I ultimately have and maybe I'm just not ready for that. So that might come in in the future and down the line. But that content's kind of already been repurposed over on Ginger Vlog. And like I said, I'm ridiculous, right? Like you, whether you want to subscribe and follow and do all that stuff, like that's completely up to you. I get it. I'm not asking you. I don't believe I've deserved anything from you guys. And the fact that you all have shown up to these videos is um, so humbling uh, to me. But essentially, whether like these channels ever get enough, they get a thousand subscribers, wherever they ever hit those milestones, those will also be part of the various playlists that you see here on Prime. So let's say you come in, um, you know, for a video and you're like that, and you want to see more of that uh, game in terms of other context, like all that should be organized below for you here as well. Um, I, it's just essentially a, a twofold, uh, wanting to take the passion that I have for these games and try to make it easier because you can't subscribe to a playlist. And when it comes down to it, like at the end of the day, I'm the same way. Like I cover variety in in that regards i i view myself as that and typically i you know people tell me what i what lane i'm in people say i'm a new world creator or a destiny creator or a final fantasy creator like I, anyway i like just making videos and i just thought that this would ultimately be the easiest way that i can focus in on also the editorial videos here whether you you know that means probably you're not going to see a video from me every single day on prime because the editorial videos take a lot more time. In fact, I actually want to take even more time in trying to craft those videos to make them the best things that you could hopefully have in your feed each and every day. Uh, you know, very positive, very work safe, very just you'd be able to consume it, whether you're just by yourself or with your family and hopefully bring you like, at least for obviously all of this analysis is from my perspective as a dad, as a programmer, as a game player, like all of that, it brings that in. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm right, nor should you ever believe or follow me because you think I'm some guy who has the inside track on things. I believe I do on certain aspects. The Halo, uh, <laughs> if they drop the Halo uh, Battle Royale this, this year, I'm gonna be like, oh, told y'all. Uh, you know, I'm really glad I got that video out and as, as rumors seem to be leaning more in that direction nowadays, I like being first, but I know people don't follow me for Halo content, but at the end of the day, that's what I really want to be. And that's obviously whenever I ask like, what do you guys want? Um, you guys always respond, like whatever makes you happy. And I really love doing that. And the nice thing about that, what this does give me the ability is that if there's a crazy news day on Final Fantasy 14, I don't end up being overly excited about that and stepping on the video that I worked two weeks on over here. And that's usually what ended up happening is that I would put a lot of time, try to craft these videos and obviously like PR and, and, you know, like, oh, 6.1 and, you know, it's not just with Final Fantasy. New World does this every week with patch notes and updates and things like that. It's like, I want to cover that. I want to be able to share that with you. And then I found myself slowly always just kind of stepping off the gas within these various things. 
And so when it comes down to it, I actually just released a, a nice little two and a half minute video on Little Ladies Day on Final Fantasy 14. And I wouldn't have done that if if I was uh, like trying to keep this channel from just overwhelming you in terms of your content. So now I hope that this gives you the ability and the freedom to, if you want to, like follow the content that you want to without having to get fed content that you don't. And that's essentially will hopefully reduce stress that people have expressed to me, you know, in a, <laughs> it was like, how do you do this? Uh, hopefully that reduces some stress and uh, and how I deliver the content. Hopefully that actually makes it easier to find what you're looking for, especially as I work on different play playlists within their respective channels to find the content that you need. And hopefully at the end of the day, that's going to be uh, where it is. Now, when it comes down to, to streaming and also beyond the editorial, I've been really enjoying the man versus game series, which you can kind of see my, uh, Sundays was me finishing off the Witch Queen and Destiny. Same kind of concept. I still think I'm going to keep uh, streaming locked to Prime and essentially keep those other channels really clean of that. And so if you guys are interested in YouTube streams, they'll still happen here. Uh, those will get... Uh, highlighted and you know kind of condensed into the best moments and hopefully the funniest you know things the most entertaining pieces and those would exist here so essentially kind of three pieces of content editorials some live streams i only try to maybe do like two a week and uh and then obviously highlighting those and bringing that into you in a condensed way if you don't like live streams but you want to hang out for the funniest moments which hopefully will let me lean more into my sense of humor since i've been doing stand-up comedy and doing other things like that at the end of the day we'll obviously see how this works out i'm sure uh, that's I'm sure it's a lot. I think it, it is ridiculous. Let's not lie to ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves as the channel number keeps continuing higher and higher. Um, but all the links and stuff should be uh, for you guys below. Hopefully you go check that out and hopefully it gets you uh, what you need uh, when it comes down to my content specifically. Um, guys, go say hey to Chris if you get the opportunity today. I, he's going to be going through uh, a lot of hard times here in the next couple of weeks. I know it's uh, pretty stressful. Go follow him over on Gaming Kinda if you haven't already. Uh, he's going to be uh, putting out, trying to put out Final Fantasy guides and, and Lost Ark guides. He's really gotten into Lost Ark. Uh, and that's going to be coming to him and his channel, uh, you know, uh, pretty heavily as well. If you guys are interested in any of your communities, discords, and all that are in below. But if you guys have any questions after this, you can sound off as well. Thanks so much for your time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video announcement. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I hope to see you in my next video. And until then, take care. Yeah. It's time to chill out on the couch and read some comments. That's right. You know me when it comes to destiny. I'm off with a clam, and I'm glad you're feeling better. Oh, yeah.